Hi, it's Mrs. Balan again. Um, I know some of you do not have Active Inspire on your computers, um, or maybe you just don't want to work in Active Inspire. You want to work in something that's available on any Windows computer, and any Windows computer in the school has a program called Paint. So I'm going to show you how to do your erosion or your roller coaster planning using the grid in Paint instead of Inspire. So the first thing you have to do is know how to open Paint. So if you go down to your Start button here and you click on that. Um, I use it all the time, so it's showing here in my um, often used list. But if it's not there, you go to All Programs. And if you go to the Accessories folder, and again, you, you may see it in this list up here if you use it a lot, but it's in the Accessories folder. And then you see there's Paint. Everybody see that? I click on that and Paint's going to open. Oops, I don't want to show the grid because normally you won't see that. All right, so when you first come into, into Paint, here's your blank canvas. The first thing you need to do is bring in your picture. So I'm going to click on this menu. I'm going to go home and I'm going to click on the File Open button because Paint actually works with photographs. So when you're opening up a photograph, you can open that straight up in Paint. So I'm going to my Pictures folder. Here's where I keep all my pictures. And I'm going to go to my STEM Pictures folder. And I'm going to go to my Erosion Pictures. And I want this picture here. So I'm going to double click that. And it's going to bring it in. Oh my goodness, that's way too big. Look, if I scroll over and I scroll down. That's huge. I don't want it that big. So I'm going to resize this. Now here, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of math that you can do to figure out exactly how small you want it. I usually just try a size. So I'm going to hit resize. And I think I probably want that, I don't know, about half the size of what it is now. You see this says percentage. So half of 100% is 50. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with 60%. And you only have to change the one because it'll change the other automatically. And then you say OK. OK, now that's good. That's the width that I want. But I have all these trees up here that I don't need. I just want to focus on this part right here. So I'm actually going to cut this area out. And there are other ways of doing this. This is just how I do it. I'm going to choose this little select using the rectangle. I click on that. And when I come over the picture, you see I've got this crosshair. I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to click and drag like that. And I let go. And now this is the area that's selected. I'm going to choose Cut. Now it's gone. I'm going to create a whole new file. I'm going to go File New. I don't need to save. And I'm going to Paste. And now I have just this part here, the part that I want to work in. Up, oh, I'm going to click down here. I'm going to close this part up a little bit. I don't want my whole, that, that's like the background, the screen, the size of the, the whole image, and I don't need all of that. I, I just want this. I'm going to get rid of this white area by dragging these little boxes in. Okay, now I need the grid. If I click on View, I can choose Grid Lines. You can also choose Rulers, and that gives you these measurements across the top. And that lets you know how big each grid is. For fifth grade, I know you guys are doing conversions. So this will tell you from here to here is 800 little boxes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not. There's 10 in each. So you'd have to do the conversion. There's 80 little boxes. OK, now I've got my picture, and I've got my grid. For you roller coaster people, this would be your satellite image or whatever you're working on top of. Now I'm going to go back to home, and I have all these tools that I can use to draw on top of this. Here's where you pick your color. I'm going to use red because I want it to show up really well. And I'm going to create a box. So I'm going to click on that. And I can set the size of the line. And I can change the color. I can say whether it's filled in or not. So I'm just going to say, let's see, I'm going to put a, a landscaping timber right across here. Right? And maybe I want to draw an arrow. I'm going to make my arrow green. I can draw my arrow. And you see these little handles. You can resize it. If it wasn't big enough, you can resize it. Click and drag. You can say whether it has fill or not. We're going to go with a solid color fill. But I don't want that color. I want this color. So you can adjust all of that stuff right here in Paint. Now make sure before you're done that you save your file. You're going to click here. You're going to choose Save As. And you can save it as any one of these types of pictures. And then if you use the other video I made for how to share it in Office 365, your team can collaborate together.
Okay. Uh, remember, you can ask me if you need any questions. Thanks for watching.